everybody and welcome to Hands on Science. It's just me, Mel, here today. All right, so today we are going to make magic using glue and soap and some food coloring. How is that going to happen? Let's see. Let's try it right now. Okay, so here's some glue. I'm going to pour some out. And we need enough glue so that we have like a thin layer. Whoops, might have squeezed a little bit too much, but it's okay. All right, so now it's just a little glob, right? We're just going to spread the glue out just a little bit. We don't want a glob in the middle. Okay, I think we're good. That seems to be a little sort of flat. Okay, so now we're going to bring, uh, we're going to add some food coloring. See, this magic happens with food coloring and soap. So we don't need a lot of drops. We're just going to do maybe three to four. I have four, four food coloring colors, so I'm going to use four, and I'm going to have four drops. And let's kind of space them out because we need room for the magic to happen. Okay, not much magic, right? So what are we gonna do? Well, the magic happens when you put some food, uh, excuse me, some dishwash soap onto the food coloring. Um, if you have a pipette or like eye drops, you can, you know, pour some dish soap in a container and squeeze it out with it. I don't have one today, so we can just use this. I'm using a smaller uh, dish soap container because then it's easier to handle versus a larger one. Okay, so let's, let's the mag let the magic begin. So I'm just gonna squeeze a small drop of soap right onto the food coloring. And you should be able to see some type of reaction. Oh, that's a little bit too much. Wow, do you see that? Do you see the magic happening? So this is magic glue. Look at all of this. And you can see they look like uh, snowflakes. So this is a little similar to like magic milk. But instead of milk, we use glue. And the pattern is very different from what you'd see in magic milk. The, the magic glue creates snowflakes. Well, at least I call it snowflakes. I don't know, what do you think? Tell me in your comments of what they look like to you. All right, if you like this activity, give it a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe for more hands on science. See you guys later. Bye.